Our catalogs contain separate categories for textures and materials, used to design your 3D scene. All our catalogs are based on a directory structure and you can navigate through it with double clicks, just like in your Windows Explorer. When you see a preview image without a folder icon you have reached the directory structure level in which you can select one of the textures. You can now drag and drop a texture on nearly any surface in a 3D view. You can also pick an existing material and transfer it to other surfaces. A double click on a catalog element opens a preview dialog. Textures are simple images and they have a predefined size, what we call texture coordinates. The coordinates determine how big the image appears on a surface. If the area is bigger than the image size, the textures are tiled. Using coordinates you can also rotate the texture image. Apart from textures 3D surfaces also have material properties. These properties determine how the material looks in 3D, glossy, matte, transparent, etc. The diffuse portion specifies how much light a material reflects and as a result it appears darker or brighter. Reflection settings make a material glossy or matte, or create a mirroring effect. In some cases you can mix the texture with a color. In this example we have a grey wooden texture. If you add a brown color to it, the wood changes its appearance from grey to brown. If you drop a texture or material on a wall the software automatically transfers it to all other exterior walls or to walls belonging to the same room. Keep the control key pressed while you drag a texture on a wall if you only want to change a single wall side. <laughs> 